guys, today we're out in the Turks and Caicos Islands and I'm gonna explain to you once we have the shark, what we're gonna do, what data we're gonna collect and why. Once the shark's secure, we'll actually use um, just our measuring tape and we're gonna measure from actually from the tip of its nose to the tip of its tail, that's a total length. We're gonna measure from the tip of the snout to the pre coddling And then if you imagine the tail is forked, so right at the point where it forks, we're actually gonna measure to that point as the fork length. Then we're gonna measure around the shark, sort of where the shark's armpits would be if you imagine sharks had armpits. Then we're going to flip the shark over with these little lemon sharks. We're actually looking at their umbilical scar as well. That's right, belly buttons. We'll flip it back over. Then we're going to take our scissors and actually take a small little notch from the shark's first dorsal fin. It's kind of like clipping your fingernails. Is going to go in a vial. And what we're looking at is we want to see which sharks are related. So that will be sent to a lab to be analyzed. Then the last thing we're going to do before we release the shark is we're actually going to tag the shark. So we've got this reader. We're going to scan the shark. And if we don't get a number, then we're going to go ahead and actually insert a very small little pit tag. And it's really just an internal name tag for the shark. We come back and we catch the shark again. We can see if it's grown. We can see if it's in a new area and actually learn a lot from this tag. Now, once we've collected all our data, we're going to release the shark and then we can go back and look at our data to see how much we can learn about these little sharks. If you want to learn more about the work we're doing here in Turks and Caicos, you can check out the hashtag Project Lemonade.